Hello and welcome back to another fishing guide with Mimioni. I covered how to make gill from Everdeep Ether Sands before and also a video on the basics of spear fishing. However, today we're going to look into how to self-sustain that gill making through spear fishing and also how to gather yellow gatherer scripts fairly painlessly. This video is all thanks to a comment by Rene Nielsen on my fishing gill making video where he kindly points out the method he uses to gather his yellow scripts. Interestingly, the process shown in today's video is abundant in other areas of the game with similar methods for many of the rarest fish in Stormblood. Today, however, we're looking at the Kobayashi Maru wreckage located in the Ruby Sea at this point on the map. Okay, so we are trying to get one of two particular fish, the Thousand Fang or the Mitsuriku Shark. Both of these are collectible fish that can be turned in in Ralga's Reach for scripts of some sort, either red or yellow, and both are from this area. So firstly, we need to put on our Collector's Glove buff and the Truth of the Oceans buff. These are important, otherwise you will not get this method to work. So let's start by spearfishing as we usually would with our small jig head equipped. You will see countless sea lamps in the process of spearfishing around this area. Now we don't want any of these. We are looking for a small fish called the bashful batfish. To make this even easier, we can use an ability called veteran trade. This will stop the previous fish you caught to not appear on that node anymore. So when the first fish is a lantern, you simply press veteran trade and the next fish or even sometimes the entire node will now be batfish which is ideal this is what we're looking for once a bashful batfish is caught it will begin a counter so 10 bashful batfish is supposedly the amount you need to trigger the spawn of a swimming shadows node a swimming shadows node is basically a rare spawn uh, that can get you better fish so each time you get a batfish, the further you progress towards that total, a message will pop up occasionally on the screen. There are four messages in total. And they are, with the bashful batfish caught, you sense further movement in the shadows. Then, the swimming shadows intensify. The third message is the swimming shadows begin to take shape. And finally, the final message is the shadow of an elusive sea creature lurks somewhere nearby. At this last message, a marker will be marked on your minimap, which you'll need to go towards. This is usually only a short ways away, but sometimes completely away from the Kobayashi. Once at the node, you need to equip a large jig head to get the collectible fish that we want today. You'll need to decide at this point which of the two you're after, either the Thousand Fangs or the Mutsuriku Sharks. This is usually answered by seeing which fish rewards what in Ralka's Reach. Now these seem to change, correct me if I'm wrong in the comment section, but sometimes I see one rewarding yellow, and sometimes the other rewarding red scripts, and other times the complete other way round. So I guess do some research at Ralka's Reach before you begin this process at the Collectibles Appraiser. So with the large jig on, do as you normally would. You can use Calm Water's ability to get you an extra gathering attempt for 300 GP. Make sure you bring a lot of cordials to this. Obviously, you're going to be using a lot of GP here. You can use Veteran Trade after you see the fish you don't want, for example, the Mitsuriku Shark, and it will remove it from the node, which makes it really easy to gather a decent amount of the actual fish you want. Remember, of course, you can do this again very easily by just starting the small jig spear fishing rotation in the Kobayashi Maru wreckage all over again. There is, however, another very, very cool thing that can happen. On the Swimming Shadow node, whilst you're using a large jig, you can sometimes get the tiny Tatsunoko minion instead of a collectible shark. These things are just adorable, and you can sell this on my server for around 100 to 200k gil. Or just keep one for yourself or your friends. If you want to see a video on this minion, you can check the description for a link to the one that I did. Hopefully you enjoyed this video, I know I did in making it, I enjoyed fishing mildly before, but now that I'm getting into it, I'm really starting to enjoy the depth of it. Okay, that, that pun was just bad. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.